What's happening, everybody? Long time no see. I apologise about my absence and being really, really busy behind the scenes with some fun, interesting stuff. All positive. Can't speak about it just yet. But it should all be sorted soon and I'm really, really excited to be able to tell you about that. Um, so I've not really had a lot of time for videos. But I'm back to it, I'm back to the grind. I've got a load of stuff planned. I've got a new, uh, some new playlists to come out aimed strictly at novices and just cleaning up sort of fundamental issues that novices have with um, very specific uh, subjects like, I don't know, ceramic coatings. So there'll be a handful of videos, um, you know, fundamental issues with, uh, ceramic coating application, how to use less product, stuff like that. I'll be doing that for multiple subjects. But I thought I'd start back with a vlog. And what, oh, before we, uh, I don't know if you can see that, representing the old school right now. You remember back in the day, if you were there, you'll know. If you know, you know. Um, yeah, so I thought we would start back with uh, business as usual, but something a little bit tasty. So 50th anniversary. Uh, Porsche 911 in for uh, a new car prep it's not a new car it's not got a lot of miles on it so it's 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 pretty it's basically a new car preparation um, with some isolated work here's the reality it hasn't done a ton of miles it hasn't been washed a lot so it's not accrued a lot of damage um, but it's just it's a wicked cool car and they're pretty rare. So yeah, I'm just excited to bring it to you. And because it's not driven that often, it doesn't get particularly dirty and it's certainly not overly contaminated. So rinseless wash for this one, as opposed to the full on um, snow foam pre-wash, two buckets, all that kind of stuff. So we'll do a two bucket rinseless wash with a strong rinseless pre-wash wheels off they'll be taken outside but the car will already be in a ramp and um, again it's just it's, it's a time thing don't need to go overboard we will clay it obviously as we always do um, but maybe that'll make for a bit more food for the video as well save the usual outside just frothy buckets and stuff like that and um, rinseless is a hot topic at the moment Host pipe bands, hot weather, seems to be the buzzword on Facebook and DW at the moment, so that might be a little bit interesting for you as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, business as usual. Upgraded coatings on this, haven't decided yet. Uh, Titans brought out the full dark matter range now, so the technology has been updated basically. Basically got the same products for all intents and purposes. Um, they're just a little bit denser, a little bit harder, slightly better water behavior or slicker, depending on what they've gone for. So I've got a choice and I've not decided yet. Might be Zeus, might be the new PX10. I'm, I'm quite excited to try the new PX10, so I think I might go with that. And I've got a couple of bottles of the new Hydro. So even this isn't, even though it's not gonna get driven in the rain, I think I, think I might do the PX10 Hydro combo. But we'll see, we'll leave that for the end of the video. Uh, wheel off detail, obviously, polish the glass um, and coat the glass and then get on with that nice interior because that is a pretty modern, retro, cool place. It's a little bit different. If you haven't been inside one of these, it might take you by surprise to begin with, but I think it's a properly cool, modern, retro design in there. Um, just a cool car all around. So, that's going to be us for a bit. Um, I'll put you down. We'll start with the wheels as always. Um, then probably do some mapping, maybe take out the deep stuff, polish the glass like we normally do. Uh, and then we'll be straight to the bodywork. Enjoy it. I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit shorter. Uh, so enough with the rambling. Um, enjoy. See you soon. And I promise, I promise, promise, promise. I'm going to have those novice videos up very, very soon.
given the car doesn't do a million miles, thankfully the wheels are in pretty good condition. They're not overly dirty, just the usual road grime and brake dust, nothing too contaminated or bonded. So we're going to start with a simple alkaline bath, we're going to clean the wheels inside and out, pretty effective tyre cleaner as well to clear off any, just any old dressings and any dirt and stuff that the, the tread and the compound can actually suck up. And then after they've been cleaned and they've been jet washed down, unfortunately the camera stopped recording, the battery's exhausted, uh, but we went ahead and we did a fallout remover bath as well, just to break down anything that may have been bonded. Once that's completed, the wheels are then taken inside and then we gave them a thorough wipe down with uh, an IPA based panel wipe uh, to prep them for coating coated the insides before we mounted the wheels back on the car and then I coated the faces of the wheels whilst mounted. Okay, so that's all the prep work done now. The cleaning, the decontamination, everything. The wheels have been removed, the wheels have been cleaned and decontaminated. They're coated, they're back on. We'll talk them up when the car goes back down and then we'll talk them up one further time before the car leaves, just to be sure. So as always, the next step is taping up and mapping out any defects. Reality is, there isn't a great deal to tape on this car. There's not a great deal that needs protecting. Two reasons. One, there isn't an awful lot of textured trim. There's a little bit at the front, a little bit at the back, and some on the sides. 
uh, reality is I only need to tape the bits on the front and the back because they're the only ones that I will be close to touching with a pad. The side's not a problem. Um, second reason, because I'm not really doing any heavy compounding, particularly close to those areas, I've no need to tape up the lights or the chrome trim uh, surrounds because the reality is with soft pads and you know nothing more than a medium polish I'm not going to cause any damage in fact it's the inverse I'm going to be going over those areas anyway to try and lift their finish um, every little bit helps in a job like this so minimal uh, taping whilst the car's up it's a great time to map things out so it's basically just an inspection of the paintwork, walk around, find any deeper marks. This car is not new, but it is not old and it has done very, very minimal mileage. So the reality is the little bits of damage that are on there. I mean, I can't prove that the, the owner's done it um, could just as easily have come from the dealer or the manufacturer. But how? If the owner has caused any damage, it, it's going to be so small. There's going to be a tiny amount of isolated work to do. So I have found a couple of smaller scrub marks here and there. I will mark those out with my trusty tape. Um, we will start the machine work with just a 75 mil machine, maybe a microfiber pad, maybe a heavy foam pad, a, We'll figure that out as we do it in a compound. We'll nib those areas out and then we'll treat it wholesale. We'll go around the entire vehicle with the, the gloss enhancement combination, which we dial in. Probably going to be Sonax Perfect Finish, maybe um, something like, I don't know, S20 Black or Koch Chemi F601 at a pinch. Um, the marring is minimal. I've not really found any swirls to speak of um it really just is about the gloss with this one so that's the rambling over um i'll get round i'll get all this done uh we'll drop the car back down tart the wheels and we'll get onto the machining take it easy
You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. stated this many times in the past but just to be clear I am not trying to remove swirls and scratches from the glass here this is a preparation stage all I'm trying to do is break down embedded grease and oils and grime remove that with the abrasives remove that with the rinseless wash just to make sure that the glass is really 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 deep cleaned so that we get the best longevity from the coatings possible
a big proponent of there is no one size fits all uh, there is no wonder product but it is useful to have a couple of go-to combinations in your back pocket that you can rely on that you know most of the time bring you the results think of it as a as a control or a reference point so for me uh, yellow rupes pads and sonax perfect finish is that combination it works on most cars most of the time i always start with that see what the results look like if they're good we carry on if they're not we change from there but it's just useful to have that base control that place to start from from which you can then decide change this change that do this do that i find the results come much more quickly that way
Now then, if you haven't already, I strongly suggest that you go and watch the series that I've recently made on helping you ceramic coat your own vehicles. Uh, one of the topics that I cover is panel wipes and which panel wipes are most suitable for which jobs and when. I was quite surprised that a lot of people, including excuse me, quite a few pros, didn't understand how certain panel wipes can affect the bonding of the coatings. Uh, so yeah, FYI, go and check that out. But here you can see me using a solvent-based body shop grade panel wipe to essentially degrease the paint, uh, removing any remaining polishing oils, if there are indeed anything left behind, uh, to make sure that the coating bonds adequately. I do this stage first, and then I will follow up with an alcohol-based panel wipe uh, on the glass. Um, I do it in this order because sometimes if you get the body shot grade panel wipe on the glass it can smear, but IPA on the paint will not. So this is the way around. I do it. I'm using the UPOL uh, slow flash panel wipe here, and then I have a blend of Koch Chemi Sil with uh, some water and a little bit of Surfex HD uh, to do the glass. <laughs> Okay, so ceramic coating time now. Uh, things tend to move pretty quickly once we get to this stage. <clears throat> I don't like hanging about. I don't like breaking it up. Once we start, I want to get done. So the videos will move pretty quickly from here on out. Going with, um, where have I put it? Decided to go with PX10. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, the new dark matter PX10. Um, I had the choice between that and Zeus, uh, decided on PX10, I want something that's durable, both of those coatings are durable, multi-year coatings. Um, Zeus potentially looks a little better, but PX10 is the densest coating that we've got, and the reality is, the way this car is going to be treated, I want to give it the hardest shell that I can. Um, just in case because it's not going to get washed very often because it's not going to get driven very often and I just just in case you know maybe 
there's a lazy wash here and there or it isn't totally dried like I want to eliminate the water spotting, the swirls, all of the everything that I can for as long as I possibly can and given that it won't be washed very often we're probably going to be extending the life of it as well it may even end up going in a bubble soon so PX10 is the choice yeah multi-year coating very very hard um, dense uh, just a beast of a product so paint coating get that done while the car's up Dress the tyres, uh, finish care, um, 108 top coat, two coats of that, I tend to let it just put one on, quite thick, let it dry up a little bit, as soon as it starts to dry, second one on, it just, just good, chef's kiss, best looking tyre dressing I've had, water based, doesn't ruin the tyres, won't flick up the car, lasts, all the good stuff, um, and then the car will come down, still have the gloves and the mask on, we'll get the glass buffed off, so a lot will be going on in a short space of time uh, and then maybe we can sit down um, do a little more face-to-face -face stuff and then we'll do a final walk around so uh, I'll get the gloves and the mask on stay safe you know we've got to do our due diligence here and um, let's see how this one turns out let's go So this is the new Titan Coatings Dark Matter Hyperglass that we're throwing on here. I say throwing on because it is just as easy as pie. Uh, two layers on all of the external glass. We put one layer on. We wait roughly 30 minutes, between 15 and 30 minutes. Then we put a second layer on. Leave all of those on for as long as we want and then buff it all off in one go later on. It's the hardest pill to swallow in the moment When I'm looking at you, time stops and it's stolen Praying you will come back, but I know it's just a minor delusion I'm losing Pero tenemos que seguir hasta que no podamos Yo nunca lo olvidaré porque yo sé que te amo Me duele perderte, duele perderte Perdiendo mi mente en afile Distracciones como I need it Yeah, it hurts so much, but I need it I need to feel it Las cosas en la vida Siempre
Falling in love with the drum. Falling in love. Falling in love with the drum. Falling in love. heart back to the same point again but if you haven't already I really do recommend that you go and watch my recent series on novice ceramic coatings I will leave a link up above that you can click and follow if you need to the whole idea of the series is to help you guys install lesser grade ceramics on your own vehicles making less mistakes and increasing the durability the internet is filled with people telling you how to do it yet lots of people still seem to have the same problems or the same faults over and over and over again so by all means watch those how-to videos I'm trying to fill in the gaps that those videos seem to believe in and just give you small easy to consume little tips that you can follow to not fall into the pitfalls that everybody else seems to fall into. Please give it a watch, I do think it will be super helpful for you.
Okay, so that's paint coating installed, paint coating removed, uh, multiple cloths, multiple applicators, glass coating installed, glass coating removed, tyres dressed twice while the vehicle was up, now it's down. Uh, all that's left is for the interior to be done and then collection is tomorrow. Uh, I will come in in the morning once everything is fully cured, give the car a wipe down with Ultra uh, V3 and the remainder of the bottle will go to the owner. So look, the interior on this won't be for everybody. I think it's super cool. It's just all of the touches on this car is a, a little nod uh, to its predecessor. So the replica Fausch wheels, the sort of checkered interior, brown, you know, they've just, they've, it's, a, it's a modern interpretation of a, a retro cool thing. I love it. Reality here, again, doesn't get driven a lot, not done a lot of miles, so the interior is pretty much immaculate. Dirtiest thing is the glass, which it often is. So I think I will clean the glass first uh, before I deal with the seats, because I don't want to be getting on the seats when I'm getting in the back to get into all the nooks and crannies. Um, I'll clean the leather, softly, softly approach with this one, so I think it will make the most sense to just clean them with the Dr. Leather Wipes. And then even though it's brown and they're not going to stain, and it's only the bolsters because the center is not leather, um, but we'll put the Dr. Leather Dye Blocker on just as a precaution. And then afterwards, the owner will get some Dr. Leather Wipes. Non-negotiable for me. It is the most simple, easiest, quickest, most reliable way I've found to stay on top of a protected leather. Just if in doubt, just go and buy them. Take that from me, trust me. Um, and then I'll hoover myself out. That's me done for the day. Uh, and then we'll come in in the morning, wipe it down, like I say, um, and we'll be ready for some, some nice swanky afters. So I'm gonna crack on and um, we'll see you again in a bit. Oh! <laughs> 